Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from datingadviceguru.com. You ever wondered if your relationship is still running on full steam? Well, today we're gonna to talk about that. I'm gonna give you five signs to look out for. Is your relationship over? Look, once you fall for somebody, it is really difficult to detangle your life from that feeling you have for them, which is why it matters all that much more to choose wisely right at the start. You might find that falling in love is like buying a house. Once you've committed, it's really hard to get out of it. But you also need to keep an eye on the health of your relationship. If you sense your partner's pulling away or growing cold, you gotta act fast to save that relationship. Sign number one, you need to leave. The oasis has dried up. And by oasis, yeah, I'm talking about your sex life. If the sex stops, your relationship is withering. Sex is the water that keeps your relationship alive. Many people really underestimate the importance of physical intimacy in a relationship, especially for guys. For men, the physical bonding is just as important, if not more, than any other kind of connection you have in the relationship. Now, women don't typically put that at the top of their priority list. It's up, it's up near the top, but for a guy, it absolutely is. So recognize that's essential to your connection with him. I mean, it's kind of crazy. It never ceases to amaze me how many women, knowing full well that men need this contact in their relationship, still play power games with it. They use it as a power play or it's neglected or forgotten or ignored or even avoided, but it's never forgotten by him. Sign number two, it's over. You tried on another pair of shoes. If you're starting to find yourself maybe interested or thinking about another person or maybe your man has been showing interest in dating other people, you got a problem that really needs to be fixed right away or you need to move away right now. Look, the reality is that it's high time that we stopped getting so indignant and self-righteous over infidelity. It happens. It happens a lot and I will guarantee you that you've had some kind of issue with this in the past. A relationship can survive infidelity and you can go on to have a stronger relationship because of it. But you have to get past your feelings of betrayal in order to do that and repair the trust. Sign number three, your relationship is over. That's right, it's boring. Plain and simple, your relationship is boring you and you don't know how to make it more interesting again. You've lost interest in him and maybe he's lost interest in you, but you have to put the energy in to keep things exciting in your relationship. Boredom is a real killer when it comes to your connection with him. One of the cardinal sins of a relationship is to assume that just because you fell in love that you can just put everything else on cruise control. There's almost nothing in life that you can just leave to tend itself and expect it to to remain in good shape if you don't pay attention to it. Interests come and go, desires rise and wane, feelings ebb and flow, the house needs repainting. You gotta tend to your relationship. Sign number four, you need to leave boxing gloves instead of kid gloves. Look, when it's more fun to make war than love, you have a relationship that's in real trouble. Some relationships manage to boost their energy simply by amplifying the tension and arguments. You've probably known a couple like this, haven't you? There are some relationships that are founded on just this function of having arguments all the time. If they weren't bickering or arguing, you wonder what the heck would they ever talk about? Men do it in their own way and women do it too. I call this the are you sure syndrome. This is when a woman isn't quite sure where she stands with her man and wants to test her connection with him. So what does she do? She starts a fight with him to see if she can get him emotionally engaged with her, get the emotions to come up. Because on a gut level, we all know that if we can't get the other person mad or angry with us, they probably don't have any feelings for us. And that's a dangerous zone of apathy. It's neither love nor hate. And sometimes, yes, you know this one too, we even pick fights to get the other person to break up with us and relieve us of our guilt about losing our feelings for that person. So if the small things have really started to bother you, chances are your resentment is going to poison the relationship. Take a good close look. Okay, sign number five, you need to leave. Your connection is dead. Dead, dead, dead ski. There are a lot of signs that your love connection has been, it's faded out or it's been cut off. Like your life goals no longer align. You find that you're not he heading in the same direction anymore and you want different things. You've asked them to go to therapy with you, but they avoid it. And this usually means that they sense that it's futile. In fact, they're probably right. If a relationship gets to the point of needing therapy, it's got a very slim chance of surviving. You realize they're not the person you thought they were. If you've lost respect or positive feelings in your relationship or they're just not a person you admire, 
you're not going to have a meaningful lifelong relationship with them no matter how hard you try and you can't seem to communicate anymore when you talk to each other there's always some kind of misunderstanding or prickliness when it comes to talking about feelings one or both of you may be oversensitive or easily triggered look the fact is that most people tend to stick around in a relationship way after the connection has been lost believe it or not the average time that a person waits to break up after they figured out that they should is about a year that's right, a whole year of being with the wrong person. And the irony is that in all that time, that whole year, they could have met their soulmate if they had only taken steps to end the bad relationship or make that person the one. You can avoid most of the pain of this situation by making sure you keep the connection alive in your relationship right now. Don't let it get to the point of ending. Your relationship demands that you keep your man obsessed with you. If you don't know how to keep a man obsessed or flip his obsession switch, then you got to see my presentation on that. Go take a look at it. Go click the link you see below this video and watch it. And don't forget to do the big three. Number one, like this video because it's awesome stuff. Number two, subscribe so you can keep getting a regular infusion of awesome stuff. And number three, leave me your polite comments and questions below. I love to read them. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from datingadviceguru.com. As always, live and love with passion.